I'm guessing that Susan may just try to dodge test. Yes. yes. And got no successes. And welcome back, because I left them on a cliffhanger as soon as I got disconnected. <laughs> just picking right up. We're not going to do an introduction. That's how bad it is. <laughs> I'm Matt. This is my caliber. Our GM's Jared. We're joined with Steven Siddall, Feral Knights, and Mike, and our special guest commentator, Noda. Other Matt decided that he had better things to do. And super special guest, Bloodstains Everywhere. <laughs> Poor cat. Okay, so Susan, you just got shot. Yes, I did. So now it's for your damage resistance test. Okay. What's the damage on the gun? Uh, it is 7M, but burst stages it up. And treat the weapon having as having a power level 3 greater than the ballistic and raise the damage level by 1. So it becomes a 10S. Hmm. 10S. Yeah. 10S. Well, I have a, I have a ballistic. Ballistic armor rating of 8. <laughs> My target number is 2. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, body is 6. Target number 2. Is her body ready? Her body is damn ready. <laughs> All right, so you take a left wound. The bullet should just reflect back at him. <laughs> <laughs> bullet rang. Okay. It's the most exciting new bullet, the bullet Yeah, rang. you guys are all just lucky she didn't shoot an arrow at the guy who had deflect arrows. Yeah, that would have been fun. <laughs> you, you know it's even funnier. Out of the air, and she's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know it's even funnier? What's that? I don't take any penalties yet. Well, you have a pain editor? I have a high pain tolerance edge. Oh. Good edge. <laughs> it's a good edge. It is a good edge. Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, so that's... I should... I guess I should technically do... Uh... Hang on a second. I should technically re Deuce, Crusher Craig's initiative, <laughs> and Stacy Sleeves' initiative. Crusher Corpse, and Stacy <laughs> Sleeps. And Cultist <laughs> 2, yeah, that's the end of his turn. Making it Darcy's turn. Yay, it's Darcy's turn. Darcy, some shit has gone down. Some shit is gone down, and continues to do so. And, uh, yeah, Darcy's not thrilled. He's been cursing up a blue streak in the back of the van, trying to get Fane or someone to take Sayoko outside of the back of the van and away from all this crap. But, at the same time, he thinks it's probably a good idea to try and deal with the big man. So, there are only so many goons he can go through, right? Uh, so then the choice is, does he want to hit just the big man, or does he want to go for both the big man and the cultist behind him? Hmm. Choices. Choices. Also, there is a big blood smear on the shield of the van now, so it is kind of hard to target from inside the van. Hmm. All right. Damn you, GMV. <laughs> I guess I can't just lean my head out the window. <laughs> I have to move. Uh, let's mm -hmm. see. I didn't become a mage that I have to move. I didn't. <laughs> the whole idea is to not move. Uh, all right, let's see. I was not elected to lead. <laughs> wow, I butchered that one. All right, so, so move is up to my speed. Quickness. Quickness, which is five. And if I move five, then I take a plus one penalty to all target numbers? Um, you can still move it all. No, only to ranged combat. Okay. Well, I'm going to come out here. I don't think it affects map depending on. Which is weird. But like, if you were if you're doing an elemental manipulation, 
then it will because you're making an attack test. Yeah. But if you're doing a combat spell or something, then no. Now, who can my wizard eyes see from up here? Um, you can see pretty much everybody. Okay. Uh, the the crushed goons seem to be. Uh, yeah. You you get the impression they're probably gonna grab it. Yeah, I, I would imagine seeing both of their bosses casually murdered in a matter of three seconds. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what is the, do you know what the radius on Mana Ball is? Because I don't have that information here. Uh, I believe we termed that radius is equal to your magic stat? You mean? I think so, yeah. Okay, so if it's equal to my magic stat, then it would be 6. Or magic stat, like willpower or sorcery skill? Hmm? Mm. Oh, magic stat, yeah. Yeah, magic yeah, stat. Yeah, stat that says magic on it. Yeah, yeah that. <laughs> so it's still six. So let's see. Five. So I can't hit them all, but... Let's see. Oh, wait, no, I can hit them all. I can hit them all. Just have to drop the mana ball right there. So, that's what we're going to try. What is... What's what's the highest willpower in the group, then? Uh, your highest target number right now... is... Uh, one second. I think it's your four. highest target number right now is a 10. A 10? A ten. Who has a ten willpower? It's not he did say willpower. willpower being ten. <laughs> I said your target number is ten. <laughs> My target number is willpower. Yeah, your target number is a ten right now. That's bullshit. <laughs> the target number for the cultists is four. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Darcy is gonna exquisitely craft a mana ball in his mind and deposit it right on this white line. Which should allow him to hit all the cultists, but not far enough to... Uh, actually, it would hit uh, Goon 2 and Goon 1 also, seeing as they're within that radius of 6. But, let's give it a shot. Mana Ball, we'll cast it at Force 6. No, I'm going to cast it at Force 5. And when we cast it at Force 5, we are going to cast it as a Sirius. Hang on a second. What's up? Okay. I just wasn't sure about whether you could cast it at a place or you had to cast it as a target. But yeah, okay. Yeah, I can cast it Go wherever I want. It. it just yeah. won't damage anything except for living beings. All right, so success test. Number so if that cat was still kicking. Yeah, that cat would be in trouble. <laughs> Those trees better look out. My target number is 10, and I will use the um, focus die on my dice to roll here. And I'm going to use half of my spell pool. I'm going to use two of my spell pool. I don't want to get hurt too badly. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. That's not too okay. bad. It's good enough. Yeah. All right. So you get one success against uh, against the big man. All right. Let's see, I got one. So he is rolling. Five. Yeah, it's it's like... Testing on spells, unless they're the close one. By touch, willpower. It's like five successes against the rest. Yeah. 
No target number modifiers apply to this test except when specifically noted. What's up? Something up? Yeah, I'm just double checking this about how the star resistance test works. Oh, uh, okay. What, is he magic? Huh? Everybody makes spell resistance Anybody can make spell resistance tests. Oh, I thought you were talking about a different thing. No. We haven't done that much magic combat. Mage on mage violence. Just the one. <laughs> hot, hot. Mage on mage action. Yep. Suddenly everyone starts shooting uh, Fane and Darcy. Oh my. Oh my. Gracious. What's the bad news for me? Okay, actually some weird does happen. Oh, good. Because there hasn't been enough of that in the past six no. months. No. No. What happens is that so he makes a spell that says dice against. Mm -hmm. I haven't done this in a really long time. <laughs> okay. So big, well, like when the spell goes off, right? Or in the big man, there's a weird sort of like sp like sparks effect. Yeah. As your, your spell hits some kind of resistance. Fun. That's unusual. What was the force of the spell? Five. Ah, but it doesn't help. Okay. Darcy frowns harder. Well, you're not... Actually, you would be able to tell what that was. What that was, was a mage specifically used in spell defense. Shit, there's a mage on Overwatch. Anyway, so he rolls... Okay, so big man. Him first. So he's doing a test... That's fine. Turn the room to force the spell. Ah, okay. I see what's going on here. Shenanigans. Okay. He's going to spend a karma pool point on that. Damn his karma pool. Damn his hide. Uh, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> I've seen some things. And some stuff. That was almost stuff. 45 dice. That's not where the tap goes. <laughs> Oof. Man, this die roller is unforgiving. Yep. Okay, he doesn't manage to shrug it off. Stacy C's cannot roll a, a, res a resist test right now. Or ever. Hey. She's not dead. Oh, oh, dying. I thought she oh. No, when you, I hit she deadly, when you hit deadly damage, you don't die instantly. Yeah, you die at, like, the number of turns equal to your body, I think. Yeah. Craig got killed by GM Fiat. Yeah. I see. To make you guys go, oh, shit. Uh, cultist 2. Wish there was a fast way to do this. Nope. Oi, oi, oi. Area attack spells. Yeah. 
Oh, he got a success. So he resists the spell. He resists it? Oh, because he's got the Overwatch thing. No, when you cast a spell, you get to make a spell resistance test against it. And he doesn't have Living to get... targets may always make a spell resistance test against spells. They don't, they, have, they don't have to beat the number of successes I have or anything? No, I guess that is true. Okay, so he just negates your success, so you can stage it up if you could stage it up. Well, I had five successes on him, so he's... You had five successes? Four. Yeah, because okay. his target number is four. Right. Successes, you only staged up twice. He does the same thing. Lucky him. These guys are tough. What about Goon 1? Uh, poor, poor Goon 1. Should have stayed home. He should have stayed home. Nope. nope. This is why people keep dying. <laughs> why people keep dying. If you recognize these references, please say so in the comments below. <laughs> no. Yeah, let's give let's give Stacy Sleeves an opportunity. I don't I She's can't. After, after all not a willing target. Hmm. See, so I had this whole idea where where this would actually be like, oh dear. Where this would actually be like a longer thing and where they'd keep popping up as sort of like almost a comic relief villain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen anymore. No. No. And then I was like, you know what? Actually, what would be better is just to make, show them how much of a badass these bad guys are. Okay, so she gets no successes. The goons that I hit would actually have been one and two, because three and four are outside the radius. One and two? Oh. Yeah. The, the same effect. Yeah, just letting you know for GM purposes. Where, where did you drop the spell? Right here. So then it would have hit three and four, not one and two. Now, three and four are both seven squares away from there. Uh, okay. One and two are six and That's five, respectively. Radiuses. Radii. <laughs> yeah, they are. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So... Right, all right, so now, suppose this is test. There's this ominous, like, hammering sound coming from here. Dun 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 Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. So the power of the spell was what? Uh, so you had it. You were casting it deadly. Serious. Serious. Yeah. And it stages okay. up twice on the goons and not on the big guy. Right. Okay. So he's actually going to get to make a second test. The big guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he gets to pick a second test against it. He's tossing combat pool in. Combat pool against the spell? Yeah, this is combat. Okay. So he stitches it down three times. Oh, right, yeah, I was thinking of something else. I have too many things on my brain. Yeah, so he stitches it down three times, so Syria to moderate to 
Serious to moderate. Yeah, so he shrugs the spell off. Serious to moderate. Others are not so lucky. Hmm? So, so he goes past light down to nothing? Yeah, he went past light down to nothing. That bastard. The others are not so lucky. <laughs> Their head just popped the grapes. <laughs> well, again, they're not... Well, yeah, he staged it up twice, so... It's past it deadly. <laughs> yeah, it's past deadly. Not past deadly enough to kill them, I think. That's okay, as long as they're falling over. They're going to be down. So they're taking... Basically, they're taking 12 damage. Mm -hmm. The hell? What are you doing to my macros? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was using the GM thing. I have a window open. Maybe that's why. I was getting my drain check ready. Try, maybe try again. There. I tried using the numbers. It doesn't work. Map tool didn't yeah. like it. Having two things going at once. So Stacy Sleeves takes her second deadly wound in a row. It's okay. She wasn't very nice. Uh, She's just going to keep taking deadly wound after deadly wound. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> she did. Oh, yo. No. Whoops. Did I hide her? <laughs> you didn't want us to see what's coming next. <laughs> so she gets up as a zombie. <laughs> it's a ghoul! <laughs> She's going to turn into a ghoul, isn't she? No, that's not how ghouls happen. I'm sure she didn't get bitten by a ghoul before she came out here. It, that's still not how ghouls happen. She kissed a ghoul. <laughs> she didn't like it, though. No. Okay, so drain test. Yep, that's what I had set up there. I'll put it back up again. Does Darcy die? Darcy does not die. Oof! Damn! Darcy's brain tanks it. Like a boss. <laughs> Okay, Darcy is not a corpse or brain dead. Darcy's tired of this shit. Norio. Okay. Norio is going to execute a combat roll out of the van. <laughs> Don't do fancy <laughs> shit. He's going to make your okay. roll. Uh, All okay. Right. Uh, no. <laughs> Just leave the van. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, can't, out of the van. I, I can't. I Breaks can't. His ankle. I can't Let's style up anything in this game. <laughs> no, that's something you can do easily. Thank you. This I just want to. to I want to at trying least to run up a cheap ass store uh, stack and then run across the top of it. I'd like to at least pretend I'm playing a character who's been trained to as a ninja since he was born. <laughs> <laughs> When he leaps out of the That's van, does a combat roll. Okay, how, uh, are you running. leaving by the what, back of the van? I. Uh, what exit points do I have? At the moment, the back. The, but then I exit through the back. Okay, so that's two meters of movement. Then, so move there. So uh -huh. what's your quickness? Quickness is seven. Okay, so you have five more meters of movement. You have to move around the van. You cannot move through the van. I'm sorry, six, not seven. Then you have four more meters of movement. Okay. Where are you ask going? Well, I'm trying to get uh, next to Suzume. I think you can make it. Uh, move up to the top of the van, top corner. Three meters. And then you have two more meters left. That's not Suzume. Uh 
I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. You know, that's not Susan May at all. I know, but uh, well, she's she's uh, she's not she's not close. I mean, I can't no. I can't get here, so you know, I uh, what well, I wanted to do. run, but it would you could run and bigger. go further, but it'd be a bigger penalty. I'm okay with that. Okay. Running is like triple your quickness. Triple your quickness. Unless you're a dwarf. Four dwarfs. Four dwarfs. Four Thunderfoot. Yeah. Rest in peace. He would have loved this. He was the best of us. He was. He really was. He was ten times the ninja I am. He probably <laughs> had all the skills we're lacking here. He had lots of guns. And although Norio did hear Darty has no part... Wait a minute. No, he does have a way he can... Well, I don't know. Can I, can I? Is it possible to use my astral perception power to bind the mage? Or if there is a mage? Because... Oh, you could try. <clears throat> astral perception. Uh, they, I believe it's a complex action. Maybe we should... No, 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 simple here. action to extend your perception to the actual plane. However, that would be a simple one of your two simple actions. Okay. So yeah, I will do that. Okay, make me a. Um... All right. What? Okay, you look into actual space. The first thing you notice is the horrible. Uh, nightmarish inky darkness spreading out from the big man like the it looks like the ground at his feet is starting to like crumble and like everyone who's around him you can see them starting to rot and he looks like there's a, you can it looks like he's standing there as he looks like in the in the mortal world, and then there's uh -huh. like this really like emaciated, almost skeletal, wispy version of himself chained to him. Is it possible to use my knowledge of spirits to understand what I am seeing? So I have spirits no. three. Okay. <laughs> well, no. I thought I'd ask. It seemed like seemed um, po possibly spirit. Related okay, evil what? spirit, yeah, maybe. Right. I want, okay, you know what? You can roll for it. The target number is twenty. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Why not? <laughs> you can do it. I'm not. I'm not losing anything for not doing it. <laughs> and then Norio's head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> he could <laughs> not comprehend. <laughs> you have no idea what it is, and it, okay. but it's whatever it is. It's messed up. Yeah. Okay, so um, this guy is something not of this world. No, and so I need you to make perception test. Oh, I felt for certain he was going to ask to roll for see how much sand he uses. <laughs> oh man, if only this there is a call of Cthulhu. <laughs> perception two thirty one. So perception test is. Uh, yeah, so roll me a perception test. Roll me a perception, perception. test. Uh, your target number is 15. So it's your intelligence. Yeah. Can, can a dice pool be used on this roll? No. Okay. You don't see anything aside from that. It's kind of distracting, actually. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> kind of a huge uh, noise canceller. I'll bet. Actually, make me a willpower test. 
I gave him ideas. No. Thanks, Steve. Steve. Uh, what power test your target number is four? 